HR15 and today we'll be checking out DC's Black Lightning. Let's just get straight to it. Black Lightning isn't well known than Batman or The Flash. He is such a D-list superhero up until this point. The character first appeared in Black Lightning issue 1 on April in 1977. And you may think he was the first black superhero to appear on the comic book pages. And no, he may not be the first black superhero, but he is the first black superhero to get his own solo series. But the series was short lived after running a total of 12 issues. But that doesn't mean that he can't guest appear on other comic book titles like World's Finest, Detective Comics, and even Justice League of America titles. He was offered a spot on the Justice League, but he rejected the offer, saying, no thanks. Then he just joins the Outsiders. But in 1995, he gets another solo series that was also short-lived, sadly enough, that only had 13 issues. However, he got a third try at his solo series, U2009, that was received very well. Let's get to the actual origin. Jefferson Pierce was a normal man who grew up in the South Side suicide slums with a dream of success one day. After becoming an Olympic gold medalist in the decathlon and a college graduate, he moves to Metropolis with his wife, Lynn Stewart. And the main reason he moved is the death of his father, Alvin Pierce. Jefferson is a principal at several schools and is respected for all the good he has done in the neighborhood. Even the Wayne Education Trust gives him a grant to come back to the south side to try to do the same there. Jeff sees how bad it is, mostly due to the 100 gang and Tobias Vols, so he decides to do something. With his hidden electricity powers, he becomes Black Lightning. After seeing the quote, Justice Like Lightning should ever appear to some men hope, to other men fit. It's also worth mentioning that Jefferson has two daughters one called Anissa and the other Jennifer, who they eventually get powers calling themselves Thunder and Lightning. You may be thinking, wait, what about the Outsiders? Well, Batman wanted to recruit Black Lightning to save Lucius Fox, which led him to be in the Outsiders. In fact, the Outsiders consisted Batman, Geoforce, Halo, Katana, and Metamorpho. Then later, he joined a new Justice League consisted of Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Vixen, Red Tornado, Hawk Girl, Red Arrow, Black Canary, and Green Lantern. Now let's get to powers and abilities. Black Lightning is able to generate intense bolts of electricity from his fingertips. His powers are potentially devastating. He can also use electricity to transport from power lines or he can also fly at superhuman level. Black Lightning can manipulate matter on a subatomic level with electromagnetism. He has appeared in animated movies and cartoons like Young Justice, Superman and Batman, Public Enemies and so on. And if that wasn't enough, Black Lightning is actually getting his own CW show, maybe coming uh, the near 2017 around October or the early 2018 and that is the end of my history of video thank you for thank you guys for watching this I will sure that this will not be the last time I see you guys I'll have more videos coming up and what I'd like you guys to do is to press that like button comment and subscribe I'll make more videos next week and good night